He gathers her from a metal chair, cradles her cautiously in his arms. They dance. Jobim and Gilberto know nothing of MS, nor tonight does she, as with closed eyes buried deeply in his chest, her mind moves to slow, complicated rhythms of the bossa nova, while limp legs trail marionette-like along the polished floor. My name is Francis Osentoski, and I started in the district in 1969 at El Centro College. Um, our music program there was part of a national grant called Comprehensive Musicianship, and it was intended to revolutionize the methods of teaching music theory. Uh, a couple years later, our enrollment slid a little when the newcomer colleges, Richland and Mountain View, opened, and I started to split my um, teaching between Richland and uh, and uh, El Centro, and then came to North Lake in 77, 78 when it opened. My name is Vicki Wheeler, and I was hired in 1980, and I have worked my entire career at North Lake College, and um, I worked in facilities the entire time. I'm Linda Glasscock, also known as Erlinda Martinez Glasscock. And when I first came to North Lake College, it was 2002. Um, that was a, a memorable year for me. I had been at Richland College for three years prior to that, and in Denver at the Community College of Denver uh, before that. So it was a big change for me. Uh, I was very thankful to have had a chance to apply for the presidency of North Lake College and to actually get that. Uh, appointment. My name is Karen Ferris. I uh, live here in Irving. My, ma my maiden name is Karen Montgomery Ferris, which is what my name would have been uh, when I attended here at North Lake Junior College. When I graduated from uh, high school, Irving High School in 77, um, I really did not know what I wanted to do. So I came here to North Lake and through a series of events I took drawing, I took d design, I see, drawing, English, uh, biology, um, just a variety of courses that were required for a freshman student. Then, um, I guess it was English. I took an English class that I really, really liked. Um, it kind of inspired me to go into advertising. My name is Gary Swaim. I came to North Lake College in 1979, January. That's just a year and a half after North Lake had its opening and I had come from California where I'd been Dean of Undergraduate Studies at the Alfred North Whitehead College of the University of Redlands. I was actually hired in 1980 as the uh, carpenter and you know in 80 that was not a, a time when women were doing you know jobs in, the, in that type of field yeah. and um, so I thought I was really proud of myself that I'd had secured a job, you know, in doing something I wanted to do. I enjoyed doing it. And um, North Lake was a very um, close-knit family type of um, an environment. I decided to go into advertising, went to North Texas State University, where I got my uh, Bachelor of Fine Arts and Communication Arts. I have worked in a variety of agencies, um, over the years, but now I am self-employed and still work in the graphic design industry. I create just anything my clients need. I remember my first impressions of North Lake, uh, and this is when I was working at Richland. And what a beautiful campus this was. And it's like that's always um, been one of those hallmark characteristics. Actually started with the administration was in portable buildings outside because the college wasn't completely finished. Uh, but uh, I was impressed that the building was beautiful and modern and clean and new. Uh, our students at that time uh, were more along the lines of rock musicians, not the type you would think you would normally have in a, a college setting. 
And one of my students uh, wore a headband, like the old hippie uh, days, and uh, played the harmonica. And he went out uh, with Frank Zappa Band. The Frank Zappa Band was in Dallas playing a gig, and he said, I'm gonna go sit in with him. He disappeared for a week, and he came back and said, hey, I got to play with the band, man. They're really dedicated. They don't do drugs until after the gig. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to work on this level student. Um, my theater director, Alice Butler, <laughs> came into uh, my office along with uh, John Mosley in the theater department. And Alice looked at me and she said, Gary, do you sing? And I said, well, yeah, I've really sung all my life. Uh, would you be willing to come down and, and do some singing for us? And so I walked down to uh, the theater and uh, we're at the piano and uh, they gave me several things. You read music? I said, yes, I, I read music. Uh, I'd like for you to read this song. And of course, it was one of the songs from Camelot. And after I'd sung, she turned to John. She said, I think we have our king for Camelot. <laughs> and so I became the king in Camelot and I played opposite my Guinevere, the queen, as Alice Butler. Oh, nice. And what Alice didn't really realize, what I didn't realize at the time, was that she had set me in motion to ultimately become a playwright. I now have some six plays that have been performed in both California and Texas and uh, have more that are going to be performed here uh, probably in the spring or in the fall of uh, the coming years. I still try and work on a house down in East Texas. We have a little cabin down there and so you know I go down there and I have to do insulating and you know. We still have our ferrets so we, um, we have reduced the numbers. We're down to about 16 now. We used to have 34. We were part of a um, a club, the Ferret Lovers Club of Texas, which was also a rescue, and so we would rescue. I get to sleep in. I don't wake up to an alarm ever. One of the uh, good things happened to me teaching here was I got to be involved in the Irving community. I served on the board of the Irving Symphony for several years, and now I'm on the board of the New Philharmonic of Irving, the New Philharmonic Orchestra. And back in the 1980s, the uh, Irving Symphony commissioned me to write a piece, and I wrote a piece called uh, A Requiem for Orchestra with Jazz Trio. And then recently, a couple years ago, I was commissioned by the New Philharmonic to write a piece of uh, some choral music with orchestra that MacArthur High School Choir performed with the orchestra, some Christmas music. And I'm still active with the New Philharmonic working on their board and and that was nice to uh, have those professional options open and um, now that I'm retired I have time to write more music and I'm still looking for more commissions and have had a few and will continue to uh, write music. I'm having a blast traveling through the country and enjoying just seeing the very, very many different kinds of uh, beautiful places that are it's like, oh, I had no idea that these places were here. And along the way, encountering a few wild animals like buffalo and bear, um, beautiful eagles, um, little rabbits. Uh. I also enjoyed history. One of my favorite teachers here was Charlotte Reich, and I understand she's still here. And I was very impressed with her teaching style. I loved history, so that was probably one of my favorite classes.